my name is Lisa Mbet, and today I'll be leading you through a movement to meditation um, type flow, I guess that's what we'll call it. Uh, but, you know, when we meditate, we try to find uh, one thing to focus on, usually our breath, and that brings us to our center and helps us find a little bit of peace and mindfulness. Um, we're just going to add one more focus to that. We'll use our breath, but we'll also use movement. Um, so with this, we're going to focus on five poses or asanas. will be child's pose, downward facing dog, high plank, and chaturanga dandasana. That's four. Um, I will show them to you just in case you're not familiar, and then we'll move forward. So in child's pose, our knees are spread wide to the edge of the mat. Palms pressing forward, toes together, hips root down towards the heel. In downward facing dog, we tuck our toes, we set our hips up to the sky, press our palms down into the ground, bring our navel to spine. In high plank, roll forward on your toes, bring your shoulders over your wrists to stack. And in Chaturanga Dandasana Yogi push up, you're going to lower about two thirds of the way and then we'll reverse back into high plank, back into downward facing dog, and back into child's pose. So if you're not on your mat yet, go ahead and come to your mat. Meet me in child's pose. And we'll begin to initiate our breathing here. Find an inhale and exhale rhythm that is comfortable to you. Remember that this breath will guide you through your movement and your focus through this practice.
finish through your cycle. Join us in child's pose. Press your third eye center to the mat. Massage it out. Take a big deep breath in. And exhale through our mouth. Let's do that one more time. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale, gently rise. Come to a seat on your shins.